What's up, creator? We're going to talk about solutions as to why DaVinci Resolve won't start on your computer. We are going to talk about the following solutions that will help you get this program running. First, we're going to talk about system requirements. They are commonly overlooked. There are some settings that will have an effect on functionality. Video drivers, the USB problem, the VPN issue, the compatibility troubleshooter that Windows 10 provides. This is a big one. The port block issue, the OFX plugin problem, the new asset crash fix, and log files and how they will help you get a resolution over at the forums at Blackmagic. That's a good one. It will most likely fix your problem if you can't get the other ones to fix it. Let's get some. All right, homie, let's talk about system requirements. First and foremost, you need a 64-bit operating system. Number two, you need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Ultimately, if you had 32 gigabytes of RAM, you'd be super psyched because that's what they say is required for the fusion part of the program. 8 gigs of RAM is going to give you some serious trouble. It will probably start, but it's going to be super sluggish and lame. So you got to have at least 16 gigabytes. Your video card needs to have at least 2 gigabytes, believe it or not. So any old card is not going to, is not going to work. 2 gigabytes of VRAM is required. You need a modern CPU, obviously, and you need to install this program on your C drive. It's got to be the system drive that receives the installation files, okay? Because it's a huge program. It installs all these crazy drivers, and it uses all these crazy ports and all these weird folders. It even has a database that it has to run. So has to be on the C drive. Okay, let's move on. Video drivers really throw off DaVinci Resolve, especially Resolve 16. So it's very important that you go in and make sure that your computer is using the most recent versions for your video card, okay? You can go here and learn how to do that with this video. So go ahead and give that option a try and maybe that'll fix your problem. Okay, let's talk about USB peripherals. Before you do that though, make sure that you turn off any huge programs, you know, like your Illustrator or maybe your Photoshop programs. Turn all that stuff off just so that it's not eating up too much RAM. And then let's look at the USB peripherals, okay? Unplug your tablets, your cell phones, your webcams, your headphones, your printers, everything except your mouse and your keyboard and try to restart it. If it does boot up successfully, then plug in those peripherals one at a time and restart it again. So plug in your hard drive, restart it. Plug in your cell phone, restart it. Plug in your headphone and one by one. And if it stops, during one of those peripherals being plugged in, you know that that is the culprit, okay? This is a proven issue. This has been discussed a lot in the forums. Okay, let's go to the next one. Another program that causes havoc is virtual private networks, okay? So go in there and turn that off. So what I mean by turn off now is, and here I have my own ExpressVPN here, this is not turning it off, okay? What I mean by turning off means to go into your task manager, Okay, and look for your program. It's even here. There it is. Look, I got two running. I got a two 30-bit versions running. So I'm going to end task on both of these suckers and completely stop them from running on the computer. That is disabling your VPN, okay? So do that and try it and see what happens. Now, the other program that has potential problems with DaVinci Resolve 16 and why it won't start, your, start up on your computer is the use of the firewall, the Windows firewall, also causes problems so i'm going to shoot you to a link right here that will take you to a video that will help you understand how to disable your windows firewall okay okay during all my research online to look for solutions to figure out why davinci resolve won't start on your computer i found this really good one and um, it's a solution that's provided by windows 10 so check it out Go to your icon, maybe it's on your desktop, in my case it's at the bottom of my computer, right click on it and select DaVinci Resolve and right click on that again and select properties and it brings up the properties window and select the compatibility tab, okay, and click the run compatibility troubleshooter button and it does this weird calculation and then you, can, you have two choices, now if you try the recommended settings button, if you click that and you click the test the program, 
it's basically just doing an automatic s summary of best settings for the program based on its fake intelligence. And if you click the test the program, it's going to try to open up DaVinci for you. And if it opens up, it worked, okay? The intelligence figured it out for you. Now, if it didn't figure it out for you, we'll go back, I should say. We'll go back. We'll click the run compatibility again. And you click the troubleshoot program button. And here you have a couple sub choices. The program worked in earlier versions. So I guess it'll try to use an older version of Windows. And so you have these cool choices that you can use and you can experiment with those. Okay, I screwed this up. I'm not talking about, I'm not, I'm not explaining it right, but you get the point. You got some extra stuff that you can play with to maybe get the program working what, by checking off these boxes, okay? That's not the only thing. Now there's also something called compatibility mode. And if you check off the box here, you have uh, Windows 8, you can, you can test it with Vista or 7 or Windows 8. I heard a lot of people selecting Windows 8 and having it actually work. So I, I didn't explain that very well, but I hope, I hope I've opened up your horizons in regards to trying this method because it really does help a lot of people, okay? Cool. So DaVinci Resolve still won't start on your computer? Well, don't worry because now we're getting into the deep and dirty dark secret solutions. Yeah. Okay, DaVinci Resolve requires that there be specific TCP ports available for it to function. And in some cases, these ports are being used up by other applications, okay, or other functions or whatever. So there's a way of uncovering whether or not these needed ports are available, all right? So um, I've got this code that you put into a program called Windows PowerShell. I'm going to put this code in the, de oh, you know what? I don't think I can put this code in, this, in the descript field because it uses curly brackets. And I believe that YouTube blocks curly brackets from being used because of security countermeasures. So I guess what I'll do is I'll put a link to uh, Google Docs that will contain this information for you. After thinking about it for a while, I don't want this code to ever go away. So I'm going to use pastebin.com. So here's the link to the script. And if you want to click the link in the description, it'll be there as well. What you see here is what I've copied from my notes here. If I go into the lower left-hand corner and type in Windows PowerShell, one word, okay? It opens up this rudimentary blue window. And if I paste in those two lines of code and hit enter, it does this scanning thing and it tells me it's okay. You want it to return nothing. If it kicks back some funky stuff, that means that the TCP ports are being used and that's the reason why your uh, program is not running. So at that point, if it does kick back some information, you're going to have to go to the forums and ask what to do next. Okay, so I will put that link to that specific forum thread so that you can ping the guys over at DaVinci Resolve and get a resolution. Okay, so that's a fairly specific issue. It's probably not going to be for most people, but if it does show up, that's going to help you tremendously. Okay, if you have any OFX plugins by the company Film Convert. Okay, if you have any of these plugins installed, you need to pull them out of the installation folder and then drop them in one by one. You can find these, if you are using these plugins, you can find them by going into your C drive, program files, and then the subfolder called common files, and it should be in a folder called OFX. Open that up, pull out the files, drop one in, start up DaVinci Resolve, and keep on doing it until DaVinci Resolve can't start and you'll know which one is causing the problems, okay? Cool. Okay, if by chance you are able to get DaVinci Resolve actually running, but you can't drop any assets into the timeline, so every time you drag something in, it just crashes, odds are you have two panel drivers loading in the file repository folder on your C drive. So what I'd like you to do is do a system search for the word file repository, all lowercase, no spaces, on your C drive. And when you find it, delete the instance of the file repository folder. Just delete it. At that point, what you're gonna need to do is uninstall DaVinci Resolve completely and reinstall it. So uninstall all the drivers, uninstall all the files and folders, and then reinstall the program. You may get a prompt that tells you that you don't have the permissions 
to delete the file repository folder. In that case, you need to right click the folder, click properties, click the securities tab, click the edit button, add your account to give yourself full control of the folder, click OK, click yes at the Windows security prompt, and uh, let's see what else to say. At the error applying security prompt, click continue once and cancel at the next click OK at the Windows security prompt. I know that's not necessarily clear. Um, shoot me a comment if you need more clarity on this one. It's a fairly specific and kind of a very rare problem. So if you run into this, give me a comment and get a little bit more clarity on before acting on it, especially if you don't have permissions to delete, to do, oh, I'm sorry, to delete the file repository folder, okay? Now let's move on to the last one that fixes everything. If DaVinci Resolve will still not start on your computer, there is a final solution, and that is by conducting a log file analysis on your system and sending that information to the folks over at Blackmagic so that they can take a look at it and help you along with a solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create that file and then I'm going to show you where to go to get an answer, okay? And this is 100% free support, just like the program's free. You're going to get free support from an app, actual application developer who actually works at Blackmagic, who actually helped develop the software. His name is Dwayne. Okay, so let's first get the log file figured out. So what I want you to do is right click on your icon, your DaVinci Resolve icon, and click DaVinci Resolve, right click it again, and then click the properties button, and the, a little window comes up here, and we want to click open file location. This is going to take you right to the folder that contains all the installation files, okay? And here's that window right here. And we want to look for something called capture logs dot bat. C-A-P, C-A-P, where are you? There it is. Capture logs dot bat. Double click this. Watch. Ah, double clicking didn't work. I had to right click and select open. And it runs through a bunch of instruction and then a little prompt comes up and says DaVinci Resolve.zip has been saved to your desktop. Okay. So if we go to the desktop, so I'm going to go into my C drive real quick, go into users, my name here and go into desktop. You'll see a zip file created there. Okay. And that's what we're going to send to the forums so that you can let the guys know over there that, you, that you know, you've watched this video, you've done this, you've done that, you've done na 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 and it still doesn't work. Here's my log files. Dwayne, can you help me out, okay? Let's go over there right now just so that you understand where to go. So I'm not gonna give you any URL. What I'm gonna tell you to do is do a Google search for the following words. DaVinci Resolve won't start, <laughs> okay? That's what I want you to put into Google. Hit the key, and the first thing that comes up is a link. If you click it, it takes you directly to the specific thread at Blackmagic Forms. So I want you to post your question here. So log into this Blackmagic Forum, post your questions, tell them the things that you've tried to do, reach out by name, ask, hey, say, hey, Dwayne, can you help me out, buddy? Be nice to him. Listen, Blackmagic doesn't owe you anything. This software is 100% free. This is free support, so be cordial, polite. Praise these guys. Make them feel good. And ask them your question. Attach the log file, and you will get support, and you'll get a solution. I promise you. All right? Okay, now I made another quick video that talks about what happens if you click the icon and you just see a little blue circle turning and then it goes away and nothing happens. It's a quick and easy fix. I'll see you over there real quick. We'll get it done. Anyway, stay strong, keep fighting, don't give up, get some, and I will catch you on the flip side. Yes!